Hello everybody, Stephen Rogers Slim here. Welcome back to my channel and video. Thank you so much for joining me again. So today I have the privilege or I would say advantage of being able to do this video under natural lights. Again, natural lighting. So I will be actually unboxing and reviewing the heat scalp okay this is not the main thing here today but actually this small box is so i will be unboxing and reviewing the ezra miller otherwise known as the flash um, heat scalp from the dc eu movie or they call it also i mean they also call it the snyderverse version of the flash the movie version of the flash uh, by Zack Snyder of course so I I really wanted to put the head scalp onto the figure itself to show it everyone to allow yourselves to take a look at how it really looks like whether the head scalp is good or not or whether it fits the figure or not so this uh, head scalp of Ezra Miller or The Flash is by a uh, so-called so -called, uh, third party company known as S Kings. Actually, it's S dot K I N G dot S. I don't know whether you pronounce it as S Kings or S Kings. By the way, it's a 1 6 scale hit scalp of Ezra Miller, The Flash by them. So let's get down to quickly unboxing and reviewing this, I would say, beautiful hit scalp. Alright people, in case you were wondering how the prototype of the head scalp looked like or how it looks like online or the images looked like on the internet, how it was advertised, here are some images I got of the Ezra Miller head scalp by S. Kings look like. So this is the second picture. Third picture. So these are just some images of the head scalp by S Kings that can be found online. Just wanted to show everybody here in case you are thinking of uh, getting it or which company made this head scalp? Quite a beautiful head scalp, if, my, if I might add. Alright, people, so this is the uh, box, that, uh, or the, the box that comes together with head scalp. Uh, I think this is 31st of July 2021, so I actually had this. Almost one and a half years or more than one and a half years ago. I haven't had a chance to really unbox and review this. Alright, so let's take a look at this. By the way, today is about January 2023. So, it's one and a half years, more than one and a half years ago. So, this is how packaging of the head scalp slide or comes with. Yeah, I think it really looks not bad. But I think the only complaints or the gripe I have here is that this face, right, is a bit too neutral, very uh, expressionless kind of a facial expression to this head scalp. Probably, I would say probably, probably a little bit more emotion. So this head scalp could be better. So I think this is a bit too expressionless, a neutral look. Well, you can see for yourselves, right? The sculpted hair is beautiful, it's beautiful. And it 
almost feels like the quality of a hit, uh, hot toys hit scalp. You can see the nose, the eyes, the eyebrows, the lips. Excellent there if you ask me, especially you can see this through natural lighting. I think it's really an advantage to be able to do videos in the day. Alright, so let's take a look at how this fits and looks like on the figure itself. Alright people, so this is the default must hit scalp by Hot Toys, the original hit scalp by Hot Toys, so it looks all around like this. Very detailed and beautiful must hit scalp if you ask me. This looks like from the top, in case you're wondering. Okay, so this can be easily removed. So this is like a magnetic function or magnetic uh, in nature for the head scalp, the neck, uh, the neck connector, whatever you call it. So wow, it fits perfectly. I think you can turn the head scalp around as well, like this. I think it looks great. But you can see, right, for yourselves, I think it's really a poker face, neutral look, kind of head scalp. Which I think is the biggest problem to this head scalp. Gosh, I forgot how beautiful this flesh figure is. Now sometimes I, I really like to do these videos, you know, you really take a closer look at figures you have bought and just left there for display or storage, which you, you, making these videos would allow me to take a look at them again and these figures by Hot Toys are really beautiful, it comes with a beautiful display stand. So I think uh, S King or as kings for that matter, if you ask me, did a great job in this head scalp. If you ask me, I think it's beautiful. Okay, for those who want to take a look at the display stand itself, this is how it looks like. Flash, Justice League. Alright, so if you ask me, I would highly recommend getting this head scalp. This is beautiful. Uh, I think it's still quite readily available out there. And the price is really reasonable. So, uh, I think you should really get it if you want to, if you're a Flash fan. Oh, by the way, I think I updated on Facebook recently as well. This Flash figure is really expensive now. So, uh, I, I, I'm not sure why. I mean, I mean, I know why people didn't. Uh, pre-order this years ago because probably they were not sure if every member of the Justice League was going to be released now ever since then Cyborg has been confirmed that we are still waiting for its release soon so I guess less pre-orders made cause uh, less supply of this to be available so the prices of the flash is now quite high I think at least about two times or more as compared to its price during the, the pre-order stage. Right, I'm so glad I was able to make this video today, admiring my flash figure again. That's what collecting is about. So, I really love this. You should go get this. My only complaint or problem with this is, as I mentioned a couple of times earlier, is that it's too expressionless. Otherwise, it's a beautiful head scalp. Stephen Rogers Lim here. Thank you so much for joining me and my channel and video. Take care, goodbye, and and and, and as and little, little, as always, don't stop collecting people. See you. Take care. Bye bye.